ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 17th of January. James Spann here. And you know, sometimes the forecast works and sometimes it uh, doesn't work. Uh, Bust to Reno today in the forecast. We'll regroup and take a look at things and uh, evaluate the situation tomorrow, which still could be a very stormy day here. A reminder, Thursday night of this week, we're coming to Oxford, the Oxford Civic Center. Uh, for Storm Alert 2009, we've already had great stops in Utah, Trustville, and Jasper. Get down there early to get a good seat, learn about Alabama's weather, meet the team, and much more. Yeah, we didn't think the rain would be in here until tonight, but by golly, the old Pineapple Express pushed an impulse in here early, early in the day. And accordingly, we've had a mix of rain and sleet falling. And temperatures, of course, uh, get all hosed up when that happens because of the evaporative cooling. Uh, there's the uh, Chiha Sky Cam. Now, so far, not much happening on the eastern side of the state. Uh, uh, and then in Tuscaloosa, the roads are wet. They are hovering around 50. We thought we'd be around 60 at this time of day. So the evaporative cooling making for a 10-degree forecast error. But that's the way it goes. It goes. Weather forecasting is like setting up dominoes. Once uh, one falls, a lot of them fall. There's that uh, strong subtropical jet stream coming across the uh, uh, part of Mexico and Texas up into the southeastern states, pushing that lead impulse in here. And there's the radar. This afternoon, we've got a pretty large mass of precipitation falling, and most of that is now reaching the ground. Uh, the light rain is falling in Utah, Greensboro, Clanton, Alexander City. We've had some around the Birmingham metro, and there's obviously not much out there. But again, uh, it certainly has been interesting today with the sleet. Perfect conditions for sleet, cold, dry air. And the evaporative cooling process helping to uh, uh, help those raindrops melt into ice pellets in spots. And look at the numbers. You know, we thought we'd be up around 60 today. Not happening for Tuscaloosa. At 1 o'clock, they are at 43. Now, they have bumped up to 50 at 2 o'clock. Uh, Birmingham at 48. Low 50s on the eastern side of the state. 53 for Anniston. 52 for Gadsden. And understand, I know it's cool and dreary, but we still have potential for stormy weather tomorrow. The atmosphere can turn in a hurry. In fact, on the day one convective outlook for tonight, there is a slight risk of severe weather from Monroe, Louisiana to Muscle Shoals and Memphis. And this would be mainly elevated. Uh, for storms that form on, on a northward moving warm front tonight. And the main problem would be from hail, uh, the cold air aloft. Don't expect any issues with tornadoes or damaging winds tonight. And again, for us, we're just thinking some light rain or a few showers around here. But tomorrow, once again, all of the state is in a slight risk of severe weather, all 67 counties. It includes a pretty good chunk of the adjacent states and all of the Florida panhandle and down into southeast Louisiana. And by golly, the guys at Norman have actually bumped up the probabilities of severe weather. Uh, the chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a point up to 30% for most of Alabama tomorrow. And that's assuming we can break out into the warm sector, get these storms rooted down in the boundary layer and not elevated. And true, it is cool and dry today, but again, many times I've seen this where we see a quick overnight turnaround where we go from dew points in the 40s to dew points up in the 60s. Look at the uh, modeling here. This is the 12Z GFS at noon tomorrow. And you can see the core of the trough still uh, north of us. With the, you can see those little vorticity centers in the southern stream coming along. The primary surface low should be north of Indianapolis, under 1,000 millibars, with a trailing front. The Cape values are actually higher on this run for tomorrow. This is uh, off the wharf, and this is suggesting instability values uh, over 1,000 joules over a pretty good chunk of uh, west and central Alabama. And this is at uh, late afternoon tomorrow. And the helicity seems to be a little better in phase with this thing. Initially, it looked like the better wind shear would be lifting out as the instability values increased. The bottom line is, despite the events of today, parameters look a little stronger for severe weather tomorrow. So we'll continue to mention a windy and mild day with showers and storms, some storms strong to severe. And uh, based on the what you're seeing right there, there could be a few rotating storms tomorrow. So uh, all modes of severe weather possible. We'll be keeping a close eye on the sky. Uh, more than likely, the better window for severe weather will say noon until 8 o'clock. Thursday, 
Big trough forming over the east, not quite as deep as runs we've seen earlier this weekend over the weekend, but still, that looks like a chilly and windy day with a high in the upper 40s. Uh, the sky probably becoming mostly sunny. It looks like wraparound moisture should not be an issue. Friday, cold and dry. Friday morning, a pretty good freeze. We'll be down there between 20 and 25, the high Friday afternoon, around 50. And here's the next issue, the clipper coming down the backside of the trough, digging down toward Harrison, Arkansas. And at the surface, you can see the GFS continues to portray a little band of showers. And while the 1,000 to 500 millibar thickness critical line is near Birmingham, the low-level thickness values don't support snowflakes here. And I don't think we need to mention it for the Interstate 20 corridor. Birmingham, Anniston, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden will mention a chance of some light rain on Saturday at times. With the chance of maybe a few snowflakes up in the Tennessee Valley, and even there, probably not a big deal. And then Sunday, that thing is on by. We have a chilly and dry day Sunday with sunshine back in full force. Looking at next week, Monday, uh, looks like a pretty pleasant day. Tuesday, winds veer into the south, moisture increases. There might be a shower late in the day. Wednesday, a week from tomorrow, looks pretty wet. Gulf of Mexico wide open. Thursday, the 26th, wet. Here comes a cold front, so really uh, Wednesday and Thursday looking pretty wet. And then Friday, the 27th, we dry out at the end of next week. So at the moment, the better chance of rain next week would seem to be on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, but that could change. It's a long way out there. That's technically in voodoo country. Digging deeper, the end of the forecast period. This is way out there in voodoo country. This is March 5th. Kind of a zonal flow, somewhat disturbed across the country. That suggests some kind of rain here, maybe snow up in Tennessee. And again, we're not even going to try and draw any conclusions out there at this point. I think the, the message is that the weather will be changeable. Some cold periods, mild periods, storms in between. We're going to have a lot of changes and things to talk about here in coming days, it looks like. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television, the television this evening. If you are local to us, that's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.